What up guys, what's growing on? So, hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I've got a little quick video for here today and actually just kind of uh, maybe responding to some recent comments I've had. Not negative, but you know, oh my God, you're growing jackfruit and mangoes, you know, 20 miles north of Tampa. If we get that hard freeze, you're gonna lose everything. Um, true, you know, some things are gonna defoliate, some things might die. We've had a hard freeze. I've been down to the early 20s or low 20s, um, you know, my first or second year here, and a lot of things defoliated. I had one tree die so far from cold damage here on the farm. And right here behind me, I have a thicket of jackfruit, you know, that were planted by seed. And, you know, that's another one, you know, not really supposed to be growing jackfruit. And jackfruit can fruit from a seed in like three to four years, like ridiculously fast compared to an avocado or a mango. What am I gonna lose here? You know, I, I bought the fruit, I enjoyed the fruit, I had the seeds, I could have eaten them. Instead, I literally swung like 15 seeds over here in this area, they all sprouted up. So I have like a, a jackfruit patch per se. Um, if I get one that fruits, I get one that fruits. If they die, I get, you know, they die. Um, you know, yes, plants do not read the books. So there's a good chance, you know, one of these guys could set fruit for me. Um, what I could tell you is if they all start setting fruits, I'm gonna pick the good ones and cut the little ones out. Um, but you know, it's not a big deal when you're planting things from seeds. So things like, you know, papayas and rolenia and jackfruits, you know, things or sugar apples, you know, that can fruit really fast from seed. You know, yes, let's say you are on that edge of not supposed to be growing it, well, what do, you, what do you have to lose if you started it from seed? You know, if we're talking about grafted jackfruits and, you know, grafted mangoes, okay, we have a bit of an investment. You know, we definitely don't want to just be throwing money away. But I think with some of these things, you know, it's worth trying. It's worth pushing the edge. You know, the worst that happens, we fail. You know, we fail better. You know, uh, we learn from our failures. So, you know, I don't see anything negative coming out of trying you know, to push jackfruits up here in 9B, 30 miles north in Tampa. You know, actually, I think if we get them to fruit, I got something to write a book about. I got something to talk about. So we have had, you know, male flowers on our jackfruits. You know, I'm really hoping next year we're gonna have female flowers on our jackfruits. And I recently top worked all my jackfruits and they really, they went from, you know, maybe being that thick to being that thick. So they really beefed up when I top worked them like that. That was something that I observed. So, you know, if y'all are, on that edge, you know, when you want to grow that plant, maybe you shouldn't be growing. Maybe you shouldn't be growing it, you know, like I should not be growing soursop outside here or rambutan. I probably won't try that one unless, you know, that temperature just keeps rising. Um, but for now, I'm still going to keep trying jackfruit. I'm still going to keep trying rolenia, especially over here in the understory, you know, jackfruit. You know, this is kind of a jungle species. I, I think that this would probably fruit a little better in full sun. But being here in the understory, it definitely has a little bit more protection in that microclimate effect, you know, because it's not usually the cold that kills things, it's the frost, the frost settling on the plant. So, you know, we have that canopy protection for the frost for when that cold does come, you know, it hits those oaks before it hits those fruit trees, potentially speaking. So that year we did, you know, get that, the defoliation out here was a year that the seasons were really off. Um, it got really cold really early, the leaves dropped really early, so not only did we get a really, really cold night, but we were pretty much leafless, like the oaks were in the, you know, the process of transitioning leaves, so I didn't have as much overstory protection, so that was the other thing that was going against me. Um, but, you know, the main takeaway here, plants don't read the books. It's worth trying, it's worth pushing the edge with some things, you know, it's especially the things that you could start from seed that you're not gonna lose your butt on. So, hope you all are gonna get out there and plant something you wouldn't have planted before and, you know, maybe it's a seedling, maybe it'll fruit for you. That's what we want, we want that freak, you know, that weird thing to happen. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. If you liked it, hit the like button. Please subscribe, please comment down below. Appreciate y'all's support, pound it.